Welcome to ASMR with RCTV. Today, we're giving you a tour. Let's fix our date. I'm so sorry. But there are no phones in the broadcasting room. These are the microphones we use during the broadcast. These are our cameras. are backroom controls. This is where we control the lights. It's not turning on. It's not working. We're gonna move on. This is where we talk to the anchors. Maybe you should go to the nurse's office to get an ice pack. This is where we edit. Thank you for joining us. Tune in for next week's broadcast. Good, Good morning, morning Jags. Jags. I'm Ava. I'm Kenzie. And this is RCTV. Congrats to the cast, tech crew, pit orchestra, Mr. and Mrs. Dale, and Mrs. Baker for putting on an amazing musical once again this past weekend in Bye Bye Birdie. It was a terrific performance. And congratulations to Rock Canyon's Winter Guard for getting first place again. Testing week is starting next Monday, April 15th. Check the Rock Canyon website for testing schedule that week. A lot is going on today in sports. Girls tennis is playing against Thunder Ridge. JV will be playing here and Varsity will be playing at Thunder Ridge, both at 3.30. Girls soccer will also be playing against Thunder Ridge. JV plays at Thunder Ridge at 4.30. And Varsity plays the Halftime Hope Stadium at 7.30. JV is playing at Legend at 5 o'clock. Varsity is playing at Echo Park at 5.30. And our Winter Guard has their last competition on Saturday at DU at 12.30. Good luck, Jags. This year, Chamber Orchestra went and played at the Colorado Music. <laughs> You need to like go under the table and stay there for a while. You know, I'm gonna go under the table. I'm gonna. Goodbye. Okay. This year, Chamber Orchestra went and played at the Colorado Music Educators Association Conference, honored as the best orchestra in the state. The seniors were able to tell us what was so special about their program and their first class director, Mr. Dale. Hey, Jaguars. I'm Mr. Dale. I direct the three orchestras here at Rock Canyon. Uh, we're here today to uh, express our pride in a particular group called the Chamber Orchestra. The Chamber Orchestra is the most advanced orchestra here at Rock Canyon. And recently the Chamber Orchestra was honored uh, by performing at the Colorado Music Educators Association Conference. This is an annual conference that takes place at the Broadmoor. And groups that are chosen to uh, perform um, go through a rigorous audition process. We actually submitted a professional recording last April. And of the uh, 100 plus groups that auditioned, only a few are selected. A few choirs are selected, a few orchestras are selected, a few bands, etc. 
And so uh, to be selected is a very prestigious honor. It's kind of a pinnacle achievement for uh, any group um, in the state of Colorado. And uh, we are extremely proud that we were featured this year. It really puts us apart as one of the best orchestras in the state. And um, many people compare it to kind of winning state in terms of, uh, in terms of music. Uh, so congratulations to the Chamber Orchestra. And uh, we're very proud of you. Hi, I'm Sharon. Um, I play the violin, and I'm the concertmaster of the Rock Canyon Chamber Orchestra. Um, um, I'm Andrew. I've played violin for about five years here at Rock Canyon. Honestly, the best thing about um, the orchestra program here, especially the chamber orchestra, is just the people. Um, they're so kind, and they all try really, really hard, and they put their all in everything. Um, so it makes like working with them and performing with them, and just like growing with them as people over the course of you know chamber and high school. It makes it just that much better and I love being a part of that. We have very good teamwork in our group and we're led by an amazing director as well. Um, so I'm Tess, I play bass. Um, I've played double bass for nine years since fourth grade. I'm Alex, so I play the viola and I've also been playing for nine years. So the night of CMEA, well like the night before, we were kind of just allowed to roam the grounds of the Broadmoor um, and me and my group kind of just went on a photo shoot. You know, I just really liked staying at the Broadmoor, I mean it's one of my favorite hotels. It was fun being there with friends and then the performance, like everything leading up to it was just great. Well Mr. Dale's was really supportive and I mean he helped us through, this was like a two year endeavor because we auditioned last year and then we got in this year and played. It was like the whole six months of playing this year and it was all the same music and he just helped us through it and he's always so supportive of all of us and all of our musical endeavors and personal endeavors and he's just always there for us. I really love that Mr. Dale sees us as people before he sees us as musicians um, and he has a lot of trust in us so we were able to build up our confidence through all of his encouragement and overall it was a very fun experience. Congratulations to our orchestra program. Our musicians here at RCHS are second to none. Lucas Tybor and Sean Gaffney were also selected as the Colorado All-State Symphony Band. They will be recognized at the All-State Band Festival at the University of Northern Colorado this week. Congrats to Lucas and Sean. If you haven't seen the school's homepage yet, Kiki's wish was granted to have tea time with the mermaids on the beach in Hawaii. So cool to see her wish come true. We gave Mr. Nichols 60 seconds to rant about six topics. My name is Evan, and today I'm giving 60 seconds to Mr. Nichols to talk about six selected topics. Are you ready? Absolutely. All right. What are your opinions on cats and dogs? Uh, what do I like about cats and dogs? Oh, I don't like much about cats. I like dogs, though. Cats are just annoying, and uh, I'm allergic to them, so there you go. Um, what kind of work are you doing with your seminar and uh, SSN? Uh, the work with SSN is called Operation Inclusion, and we're just getting to know kids that are a little bit different from us. It's a great experience. How do you spend your time outside of school? Uh, how do I spend my time outside of school? Mostly riding bikes. A lot of uh, time with my kids playing baseball and softball right now, though. What can you talk about for hours without ever really stopping? Uh, what can I talk about for hours? Well, that would be pretty much anything sports related. Running, biking. Uh, triathlon, all of that kind of fun stuff. What's the best part of teaching chemistry? The best part about teaching chem? Uh, that's easy, that's new content. I love seeing kids learn the new content. And then you can talk about whatever you want. Uh, you know what I really don't like is the fringe on paper, that little stuff where you pull it out of your spirals, drives me nuts, it messes with my OCD. So kids, if you could please take that off before you turn in your papers, I'd appreciate it, thank you. All right. Keep it up, Jags. That's all the time we have. Tune, Tune in, in next, next time. time. I have a special message for the brightest star in my sky. The beautiful baddie, Amy Hobble. Amy, will you do me the pleasure of going to prom with me? And I need your answer right now.